For the month of February, the Neal Public Library reintroduced the Food for Fines campaign to benefit the Pullman Community Action Center. How the second harvest was not going to be able to fund the uh, food banks in the area. So it was like, you know, I think this is our time. I think we can help out. When I went into the library, Rosina told me a story that was memorable to her. We had this happen just the other day where um, there was a couple. They were trying to print out a resume, you know, looking for jobs. And so then they came back up, you know, and we said, there was somebody behind you who didn't have any fines and they donated their food to take care of your fines. And, you know, they were just overjoyed. They were like, thank you, thank you, you know. And, and you know, obviously the, we don't all want recognition, you know, and this person didn't. They were, they were donating, so by helping, it was just a win-win. The campaign ends in four days, but there are other locations that accept donations all year round. I'm here at the Community Action Center, which is located off of Fairmont Road and Grand Ave, where all of the donations for the Food for Fines campaign go here. As of today, 342 pounds have been donated. Reporting from Pullman, I'm Gabby Durante, Murrow News 8.